learning sucks. Well, not always, but it's definitely not as glamorous as people would have you believe on social media. Now, I'm not talking about your garden variety learning where maybe you're curled up, you know, with your with relaxing with a new book or clicking through some Udemy course videos. No, I'm talking about that hard one learning where you've ventured out of your comfort zone, perhaps a little bit too far, and the discomfort starts to wear on you a little bit. You know the feeling, right? So it's when you start to doubt yourself you're wondering if you should just call it quits, maybe throw in the towel. Maybe you're not cut out for this. Then you start thinking about how you ended up there and maybe you even start kicking yourself for thinking that you'd be able to handle it. It's that kind of learning that every day you wear yourself mentally ragged and yet something inside just tells you to keep going because it's all going to be worth it in the end. That's the kind of learning I'm talking about. This is my Rubik's Cube story. You just gotta analyze stuff. All right, so back in 2010, I worked for a company that had a finance and analytics department with over 100 people in it. One day, when we were all filing in for our quarterly all hands meeting, everybody was handed a raffle ticket at the door and we all took our seats, okay? In the front of the room, you could see that there were three Rubik's cubes just sitting up there. And as the CFO kicked off the meeting, he starts by saying like, hey, everybody, guess what happened 30 years ago? That's right, the Rubik's cube first hit the market. So. We're gonna celebrate, and in order to do that, we're gonna have a little fun, draw some numbers, and if your number gets picked, you get to choose between a $50 gift card or you can try your hand at solving a Rubik's Cube before the end of the meeting and you get a $500 gift card. So everybody's interested now, paying attention, and the first two numbers get drawn, and those are immediately met with requests for the $50 gift card. No takers to solve the cube. Third number's pulled, and it's my number. <laughs> Now, I've never solved a Rubik's Cube, and like most kids growing up in the 80s, we had one in the house, but the stickers were all worn off from being ripped and repeatedly rearranged, and it was effectively garbage after that. So, naturally, I opted for the easy way out, and I politely requested the gift card. At that moment, my entire team turned and looked at me, and my boss just gave me this look that I can only describe as pure disgust. So something came over me in that moment, and I just said, no, wait bring me the cube. So to everyone's delight, one of the cubes made its way back to me and I had 45 minutes to solve it. Now, that meeting was a complete blur because I had people walking back to me and checking on me and everybody had their opinions on, oh, you should do this and you should turn it like that and don't hold it like that and you should tweak this and this is how it works. And you know, I asked every single one of those people who were giving advice if, if they had ever solved one. And uh, no, none of them had, but everybody had opinions on how to solve it. So by the end of the meeting, uh, basically they asked me, you know, where are you? How are you at? And I had to hold up my unsolved cube and to my, to my great shame. And uh, they at least acknowledged my effort and uh, they ended up giving me a $100 gift card, which was better than anybody else, simply for taking a chance. So I appreciated that. But... I wanted something more. And what I told them was, hey, uh, can I can I keep the cube, right? Um, and they said, yeah, sure, why not? They're not gonna do anything with it. Um, and what I did was I was so, I was actually kind of embarrassed by the whole thing, right? Because everybody's watching and, you know, the meeting was happening, but, you know, I'm sort of a distraction in the back of the room. And then by the end of it, when it's like, aha, he didn't, he didn't solve it. Sure, I think people were pulling for, for me, obviously they wanted me to succeed. Uh, but the reality was, you know, I, I didn't and that, that kind of stuck with me. So I had a chip on my shoulder and I, I took the cube and I, I told everybody that would listen to me like, Hey, by the end of this weekend, it was a Thursday that that meeting happened. I said, by Monday, I'm going to walk in here and I'm going to be able to solve a Rubik's cube. So sure enough, I took it home, drove my wife absolutely crazy because I never put the stupid thing down, practice, 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 learned about patterns and and different algorithms and techniques and thing, ways to move the stupid cube around. So uh, over time, I started figuring it out. I was solving it more consistently. And sure enough, you know, come Monday, I strut back into the office and I start telling anybody who will listen that I can solve the cube. And uh, that was, it was cool. Like I was super excited that I was able to do that and share it with people. But what's the point? Like, why did I just do that? Why am I talking about this right now? Learning can be hard, 
it can be embarrassing to put yourself out there. The feeling I got trying to solve that cube that time, I had the same feeling that I get anytime I try to take on something new in life. But you know what? Good things always follow, and because of that, I've learned to embrace it. In fact, I've trained myself to start recognizing when I haven't had that feeling in a while. It means that I'm at risk of complacency, basically, and I need to get uncomfortable. So learning, true learning, never really gets easy. Okay, you just hopefully have a better sense for why you're doing it. And over time, that growth just becomes part of who you are. And it's funny too, it's hard sometimes to see the growth that we're undergoing for ourselves. And from the outside looking in, it just looks like you know innate talent or knowledge or what have you. But what others don't see, they don't get to see is this, you know, all the, the peelings and the, the, the work, right? This is that cube that I took home that weekend, right here. You can see all the, the stickers are coming off and no, not because I peeled them, it's because that was all the practice, that was all the failed attempts, that was all the, the scratches and bruises and embarrassment and things that came with learning this new skill, right? And reaching that next level. So you, know, you should remember that learning is not always easy and what you see on social media isn't always reality and anything worth learning is going to take effort it's going to take time it could be painful it might be discouraging remember that don't forget your why and don't quit you'll get there thanks for watching